I'm going to connect one thermocouple module here. It is my thermocouple sensor. Okay, it's my thermocouple sensor. It is self excitation based thermocouple sensor. The, this thermocouple sensor will work based on the temperature gradient. Now, I want to connect this thermocouple sensor with this thermocouple module. Okay, it is the name of the thermocouple module is 9214. So, before that, here I am going to connect the thermocouple sensor with this connector pin. So, now you can see it. If you want to see, so here you can see this one. The first one is 0 plus and 0 minus. The first one is 0 plus and 0 minus. That means it is channel number 1. The first one is 0 plus and 0 minus. That means that is a channel number 1. So here I am going to connect my sensor like this. Okay. Here I am going to connect my sensor. First insert it. Here, I am going to connect my sensor and now let's tighten. Okay, tighten it hard. Okay. Now, the sensor has been connected. Okay, now here I am going to place, now here I am going to connect my sensor with this. nice okay so now my module is ready now my module is ready and now i am going to put the sensor with this one slot chassis now i am going to connect this with one slot chassis okay so it is my one slot chassis and the name of this one slot chassis is 9171 okay in this one slot chassis i am going to connect my sensor like this okay sensor is connected with this signal conditioning module so here I am going to connect. Now you can see. Okay. Now I am going to connect this uh, module with my computer. So when I will connect, it will open a pop up window where we will get the information our system is ready to use. Now you can see device detected. Let's open our, let's open our. And I max now you can see here and I max in this and I max now you can see here in this and I max 9174 is available 9174 is connected it's available okay and it is connected with this extended module so here I am going to connect here I am going to take, uh, I am going to measure, okay, and test the, my temperature value. So now there is test panel, there is test panel. So here I am going to click the test panel. It, okay, now you can see it is test panel for NI9214 and CTEC module and mod number one. When I, when you will click on this, in this test panel, so you will get CDAQ module 1, here the CDAQ 1 and mod 1. There is only one module because it is one slot CDAQ. So in this CDAQ module, there is AI0. AI0 means analog input 1, where I had connected my this uh, module, sorry, this sensor. I have selected the channel. Okay, and the measurement type is thermocouple. So what we have the, either we can measure the voltage, either temp, therm, uh, sorry, temperature. So the module is thermocouple. Okay, now the maximum limit is 100, the minimum limit is uh, 0 degree centigrade, thermocouple type is J type. Now, here I am going to run the program. Okay, so now you can see the my room temperature is near about 26 degree centigrade. Okay, now when I okay, here I am going to run. My body temperature is near about 30, 35 degrees centigrade. Okay, my body temperature is near about 35 degrees centigrade. So when I will leave it, okay. Now here I am going to show you something. Okay, now you can see the graph. Okay, when I will touch it, 
so now you can see it's rising it's rising it's rising when i will rub it now you can see it's rising and my body temperature is okay and near about 36 degrees centigrade if i will get any uh, things to okay i think it's also if i will get any kind of a lighter any any kind of the heat source so if i will touch this platform with the lighter and any uh, heat source so temperature will be rise are you able to understand yes sir so what we have done yes sir i had connected just i had i have taken this cdec module this temperature module right now okay it is playing my room temperature and that is near about 26 degrees centigrade 26 degrees centigrade okay mm, one degree you can keep it up and down 26 degrees centigrade okay and when i will touch it so suddenly it will rise because my body temperature is now you can see it rise and fall down so whatever the sense whatever the temperature it will sense it will quickly update the sensor it will quickly update the sensor now you can see here it is the 27.1 degree centigrade it's 27.1 degree centigrade so how now you can see how easily you can acquire now here we are able to test only my system is working or not we are able to acquire we are able to stream the data no need to write any kind of program you no need to write any setup just you can uh, you have to connect your sensor with the module connect in the computer open your nimx and check it right so in the next setup i will show you i will write a program for you and i will show you how can we acquire this temperature data